have a, a stem cell, a multi-potential cell. I put one cell in my Petri dish. It divides every 10 or 12 hours. First there's one cell, then there's two, four, eight, 16, 32. It keeps doubling. At the end of the week, I've got 50,000 cells in the Petri dish. But what's most important? Every cell is a genetic sibling of every other cell. They all came from the same parent. I have 50,000 twins in this Petri dish. 50,000 genetically identical cells. That's not the experiment. This is the experiment. I take those cells from the stem cell dish, I take some of them out and put them in another Petri dish, Petri dish A, and I put a different environment in. The, the cells live in a fluid. Cells are like fish. They live in an aquarium. I make the fluid. It's called culture medium, which is actually a replica of blood. And I create this culture medium and I grow the cells in it. So that's their environment. So in st stem cell dish A, I create a culture medium with certain chemistry to it, and the cells, when I put them in there, form muscle. I go back to the very same source, the same stem cell dish, take some more of those genetically identical cells, put them in a second Petri dish called Petri dish B with a slightly different environment, change the chemistry of the culture medium, and guess what? The cells form bone. And I say, wait, wait. Go back to the same stem cell dish, get some more genetically identical cells, put them in a third Petri dish, Petri dish C, with a different environment, and guess what? The cells form fat. Does anybody get what controls the fate of the cells? Yes. It's the environment. And while I was doing this research, of course, I was teaching medical students about genes controlling life. Why is this a problem? Because the history that we were teaching that genes control life make you a victim, a victim of your heredity. Why? You didn't pick the genes as far as we know that you came with? If you don't like the genes or the characteristics of your life, you can't go change the genes. And the genes control you, you don't control them. So your life is not in your control. You're a victim of your genetics. Oh my God, there's cancer running in family. Oh my God, I'm gonna get the cancer. Oh my God, Alzheimer's. Oh, I should get ready, Alzheimer's gonna come. And people are in fear of their genetics. This is the old belief system. This is what I was teaching. At the same time, my cells were telling me a completely different story. Their fate was not controlled by the genes. Why? Every cell in each of the three petri dishes was genetically identical. The fate of the cells wasn't due to the genes, it was due to the environment in which the genes were found and the cell was found, that determined the fate. Why is that relevant? Ha! You're a victim if genes control your life, but you're a master if environment controls your life. Why? You're the one that can change the environment. And all of a sudden you see you can change your genes. And this is the science of epigenetics.